The Atenade Naga University seeks the integral formation of students who will contribute to the society. It provides excellent instruction and formation and offers programs and services that are ultimately transformative of the society, especially in Bicol. Welcome to the Office of Student Affairs! The Office of Student Affairs or ADNU ASA shares in this mission vision of the university through its responsive student services and welfare programs, administration of university policies on student ethics and activities, and interventions for student development and leadership formation. Experience ASA Given the pandemic situation and the new normal, the office launched the e -Asa, or Experience Asa, as a way of communicating the changes and transitions in the office's modes and platforms of communication and delivering its programs and services. The university recognizes student organizations as the second formal formative structure next to the curriculum. A set of policy, system, and standards have been formulated for organizations to be recognized so that the students' interests and desires for association are satisfied and the university's formative and educational social goals are advanced. Graduates of the university would often claim that joining student organizations was one of the best decisions they made back in college. In student organizations, students learn more about themselves and the society, gain leadership skills, work in a team, develop social skills, and find lifelong friends. Organizations are given formal and legitimate permission to operate and conduct activities online, on-site, in or outside the university, and enjoy the benefits and privileges like collection of membership dues, use of university facilities, and participation in school activities, among others. To facilitate the holistic formation of student leaders, the Office of Student Affairs established the Ateneo Leadership Development Program as a concrete expression of the university's overarching Ignatian Formation Program. All programs, activities, and interventions under ALDP respond to the following areas of growth self-awareness or personal spirituality, competence building, social awareness, and responsibility. The ALDP is a cycle which student leaders go through every year. It begins with the foundational ATNEO Workshop on Ignatian Leadership for Life or AWIL. For 15 years now, AWIL has facilitated the self-awareness of student leaders' person and character, potential, and role in the organization and society as leaders. In Immersion of Student Leaders or the Lugan, student leaders and organizations experience living with community or sectoral leaders, usually in marginalized communities. Student leaders attend a series of skills development training workshop throughout the school year to equip them with necessary set of skills and help them in carrying out leadership functions in their respective organizations with efficiency and effectiveness. The National Situationer updates and thematic sessions feature inspiring speakers and raise the awareness and understanding of the students on varied social issues which affect the youth, their families, and the nation. The ALDP provides venues for conversations, prayers, and other activities that further facilitate the personal spirituality and community building or fellowship of student leaders and organizations such as Recollection or Retreats of Student Leaders Student Organizations Conversation Circle One Big Light A 
and the highly anticipated Student Organizations Festival, or OrxFest. Conducted every semester, the OrxFest is a week-long activity for student organizations to recruit members from the school by promoting their mission, vision, goals, and programs, projects, or activities. At the end of the year, student organizations gather in a culminating activity, the Student Organizations Awards Rights, or SOAR. Here, PASA recognizes the most outstanding groups, leaders, moderators, and projects based on accreditation and ALDB framework and standards. The ACP is a semestral formation program conducted by the ASA to provide the college students with formative topics or activities outside of their regular classroom routine and daily schedule in support of the university's uniquely Jesuit educational goals. Every semester, the ADNU ASA and partners organize more than 20 varied interesting and relevant ACP webinars and e-workshops. Select resource speakers from different fields of specialization are invited to share their knowledge, skills, and inspire students to nurture their personal development and partake in social advocacies and causes. The program has also been an opportunity for students to get involved in volunteer work. Many students have affirmed that the ACP has provided them an experience of holistic development in the university, as well as a refreshing yet productive academic break. As a concrete response during the pandemic, the ADNU ASA has presented the new normal webinar series for the general student population. Since June 2020, the series has comprehensively covered urgent and relevant issues such as mental health, digital productivity, social media etiquette, data privacy, online sexual harassment, integrity of online learning, fact checking, and reintegration in the new learning environment. With creativity, utilization of technology, and cooperative relationship with relevant units in the university, the ADNU ASA has provided useful contents designed to address both academic and formative needs of students in general, as well as specific classes, student organizations, faculty, and staff. These online events have been attended by all first and second year students and a significant number of upper class students. Thanks to ADNU ASA's partnership with the university's College Ignatian Formation Program and National Service Training Program. After attending some of these seminars, the facilitators of the CIFP and NSTP classes conduct a formative processing session in their respective classrooms to deepen the students' experience and learning from the events. All the 10 virtual events have been well attended and evaluated. Many students share that the series has helped them become adjusted and resilient in participating in flexible learning programs and made them feel safe in navigating the online world. The Office of Student Affairs is committed to the maintenance of an environment that advances the educational goals of the university. The Office introduces and reminds students of the proper decorum through the publication of the College Student Handbook, which contains important school policies, rules and regulations, and the annual conduct of upper-class reorientation. ASA is responsible for the administration of the codes of student discipline and activities. With confidentiality and adherence to fairness and justice, ASA handles cases pertaining to violation of the provisions in the handbook. Venues like dialogues and inter-office cooperation are available to provide formative interventions to students 
involved in disciplinary procedures. One of the policies that the university implements is the uniform and dress code. As part of the ADNUS promotion of student discipline or ethics, especially in online spaces, the ADNU also launched and has sustained several campaigns for responsible digital citizenship. Impactful infographics and videos have been thoughtfully produced, promoted on social networks, and emailed to all members of the university. These campaigns include the Be Cyber Smart campaign, the Be Honest campaign, the Be a Buddy, Not a Bully campaign, and the Be Social Media Smart campaign. As an admission requirement, students are to sign an anti-violence pledge to protect students from the dangers of membership in organizations that are contrary to law and the university mission like hazing and other violent initiation rights. The Office of Student Affairs delivers student services that address the daily and practical aspects of a student's life. OSA processes the approval of all student activities to ensure safety and security of students and alignment of activities of the educational goals of the university. It accredits safe, secure, and study conducive boarding houses and dormitories. A committee composed of student and parent representatives conduct ocular inspections, and the office produces a brochure containing important information about the recommended student housing facilities. In cases of accidents, OSA processes the student accident insurance claims of students. OSA provides information and safekeeping of lost and found items. Students can avail of the locker service for an affordable fee. OSA issues the Good Moral Character Certificate, which already comes with a documentary stamp. OSA makes important announcements through the public address system which airs in between classes and on social media. Further, OSA facilitates the screening and nomination process of regional and national external development opportunities and competitions, which reaffirm our students' academic excellence and leadership, and give them opportunities for leadership training and linkages, among other benefits. These opportunities are consistent with the university mission, vision, and contributory to ALDP goals. The OSA employs rigid screening procedures, informs a committee in selecting the school nominees. After being selected as school nominees or representatives, the students undergo coaching sessions and are financially assisted for their transportation, accommodation, and other related expenses. The service of OSA goes as far as providing referral for ready and safe supply of blood, which benefits the students, employees, and their immediate families during emergencies. This is made possible through the popular and multi-awarded Dugong Atenista, an outreach and formation program which conducts bloodletting activities twice a year. As formation program, Dugong Atenista motivates the university community, especially students, to donate blood as a selfless act of volunteerism, an expression of unconditional love for others, and as a way of thanking God for one's giftedness. The OSA launched a donation drive called Access e Escuela, which successfully created two additional student services. The first is the long-term borrowing of the gadgets at home, and the second is the setting up of a hub on campus where students can stay to use our laptops and avail of the school's Wi-Fi. In many ADNOASA's initiatives, collaboration has been a key to moving forward in the new normal. The office has primarily collaborated with the formation and student support offices, and the Philippine Association of Practitioners of Student Affairs and Services, or PAPSAS, 
which has provided a pool of resource speakers for several events and allowed the office to serve other higher education institutions, not only in the region, but also in the country. ADNU OSA has also continued its cooperation with partner universities such as Bunkyo University in Japan and Hanyang University in Korea. The Office of Student Affairs is strategically located at the second floor of Xavier Hall, the Student Center. The Team OSA is composed of student affairs practitioners dedicated to ensuring the efficient and effective delivery of the office's programs and services. The staff are active members of PAPSAS as well as the Asia-Pacific Student Services Association. The ADNU OSA has thrived not only to survive, but more importantly, it has thrived in the new setting. It has continually evolved and tried its best to future-proof as the terrain of education changes. Throughout the student's stay in the university, OSA is a constant companion of students, journeying with Athenaeans as they discover their potentials. Building a community of leaders, volunteers, advancing student rights and welfare, serving with integrity and care.